So this is Star Dynasties. It's a very interesting looking game. It's sort of like, uh, the closest thing I can think of off the top of my head that looks like at a glance is Crusader Kings, but hey, mixed with Stellaris. And that seems like a very interesting and, uh, a potential premise that has a lot- Sorry, a very interesting premise with a lot of potential is what I meant to say. But then the English language failed me. Uh, we are going to see how well it does. Uh, this game is currently uh, just released into early access. Last Wednesday. So it is going to be uh, having some things that are like not complete and some bugs here and there. So we're going to give it a look-see. Uh, in the 22nd century, humanity had a foothold in the stars, but in the inadvertent destruction of Earth has plunged the galaxy into a new dark age. But the inadvertent destruction. In the years since the collapse, there had been the near total loss of the political, technological, and economical adventures of human civilization. The initial focus of the colonies, never intended to be self-sufficient, was simply survival. Disconnection of the lifeline of resources from Earth wiped out many. And the survivors faced a most desperate enemy, each other. The ensuing lawlessness shattered the old political structure and led to the rise of warlords and a brutal cycle of subsistence and war. Several hundred years later, the colonies have stabilized into a simple feudal society, unable to understand and extend the technological artifacts it uses to survive. An aristocratic elite fight between themselves for the right to rule over the scattered fragments of humankind. Alright. So you launch the game, and it immediately tosses you into a tutorial scenario. So, in this scenario, you will learn how to play Star Dynasties. The game will unlock incrementally as we progress. You will not be able to continue playing the scenario as a normal game. After all, you will be you will be able to continue playing the scenario as a normal game after all features are unlocked. Let's start from how to interact with the game. You can switch between the game and the main menu at any time using the escape key. If this text is too small, you can change the UI scale from options. The main view of the game is the star map. You move around by the mouse by using right click and dragging, so right click is move around. Mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Interact with the map by mousing over elements and clicking on them, but we've disabled that for now. This is you! Alright, so it's character based. This is the inspector panel currently focused on your character. To the right of the portrait, it shows key information about your character, such as their age and reputation. I feel like I'm going to lower the music even more, because it's still really overpowering. Considering what's going on right now, I feel like the muted music is a little bit too dramatic for the current tone of what's going on right now. <laughs> this section shows your character's personality and other tributes they currently have. Mouse over an icon to understand its meaning. For example, is brave and friendly. Brave and friend. Ah, so this is all the way to the left. Some icons, such as the one shown that your character is married, can be clicked to focus on a related object. Ah, alright. The wife is the object. This section shows your character's level instead of five skills. So, administration, military, diplomacy, security, and technology. Yeah, so this is very much looking like it's going to be akin to Crusader Kings, but space. Maybe with some Stellaris elements. So, this is my star system. Ah, wow, this guy seems like a cunt, apparently. He's cruel. He's humble in his cruelty. 25% more happy when enemies are unhappy. So our map shows the systems that humanity has explored. All right. Is our faction the Goodman Kingdom? Factions are a region of colonies that are loyal to a single ruler, it's Duke. Dukes are also personally rule this capital system of their faction. You can mouse over a faction to see details about it such as the household and it's duke's household some factions are independent they show on the map in a single color some factions are the subjects of a larger political unit called a league and are shown on the map in stripes of that league so we are part of the singleton dominion i think political system is a pyramid of course we always have to have pyramids, even in space. At the bottom are barons that rule individual colonies. Barons swear allegiance to a duke who rules their faction. Dukes can be independent or they can swear allegiance to an archon. Archons rule leagues or fact of factions. 
The most arc powerful Archon rules only one colony and is dependent on the loyalty of their vassals, dukes, and barons to control their empire. If you become unpopular, your vassals will rebel and your empire could fall apart overnight. Uncolonized systems. Some star systems do not have a tooltip and their name is only shown if you zoom in close enough. These systems will n were never colonized by humanity and we no longer have the technology to try. You cannot interact with these systems. As a duke, you are head of, of a noble household. Physically, your household is the part of the colony that you own, and it resides the family members that are dependent on you and that help you manage your affairs. You can see the member of your house when you click on your faction by either clicking your faction on the map or clicking your house's flag next to your portrait. So... One of the most important characters in your house is Duke Heir Ty Goodman. They will inherit your household and the territory that rules when your character, Duke Alvin Goodman, dies. When that happens, you will continue playing the game as them. Yeah, very uh, Crusader Kings-like. Oh, and you can drag these tooltips around. Cool. Goal is to make your house the most powerful house in the galaxy by expanding your empire through conquests and political intrigue. You can see your progress in the victory window, which is down here. That's why it was over here. So it was trying to keep my attention over here. You'll lose the game if your house falls of power and no longer controls a faction. Cyrus so Dynasty sees his turn base after you take a turn. Each character the game ends. Sun Celebrated is coming of age. Your wife is pregnant. Characters have emotional reactions to events. Oh, they, they like this. Happiness is important. Woo! As a result of this happiness cause, you feel warmer towards my wife. If you mouse over their portrait, a bar appears under the portrait showing your opinion of them. There we go. All right, so you can control click to say, I want to know their relationship and then not have to keep your thing hovered over so you can then look at this. Bernus, Ryo Becker is offering allegiance. If you accept Litha, it will secede from the Han Union. Sometimes you must pick between one or more choices. In this event, a baron of a nearby faction wants to betray their master and join your faction. This would enlarge your territory, but it comes with penalty. Before you take the decision, you need to understand reputation. When you hurt or help someone, if only that character changes their opinion of you, but some actions will change the opinion of all characters towards you. All opinions are your reputation. The most important part of your reputation is honor. Your society has rules. When you do something you shouldn't, you lose honor. When you go beyond what is expected, you gain honor. Red icons in your first choice show that it is dishonorable by how much. Mouse over them to see how what rule you would break. Accept it to continue. Become dishonorable. He's broken allegiance with the Han Union and has pledged Lissat to the Goodman Kingdom, delivering justice for the annulment of Isidora Han's marriage. And in retaliation for Baroness Ryo Becker being fined. At the start of your turn, you are shown a list of events that were not important enough to highlight on your star map, but as they happen, but that you might find interesting. Alright. During your turn, you could take actions. Actions cost AP, and you are limited in how much you can do with your available AP. While your empire is small, you will find that you have plenty of AP to spare, and there is only so much that can consume your attention. You will find yourself significantly more stretched later. Right-clicking on a portrait, flag, or something. Other, right-click on your character or another object to see related actions. All actions are currently locked, but we'll start unlocking them shortly. Actions. Some actions also cost money. Alright, unused uh, stuff at the end of your turn is converted into bonus money. Activities of your house are broken down into five areas, and your house has a score in each area. You can mouse over each one to see how the score is calculated. We have a council. Sign a council member. Our mother is a great military leader. Damn, mama's good at murdering bitches. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Family tab shows the characters that are related to you. Your happiness is... Alright, uh, this family tab. I bet this is affected by what happens to your immediate family and your heirs will inherit your empire when you die. Nobles that are related to you are much likely to act in your interest or at least not oppose you. It's dishonorable to attack a relative or fail to help them in times of need. As a result, you will find marriages 
for your family members that strengthen your important political relationships. Use the arranged marriage action to find marriage for Duke heir Ty Goodman. For now, a good candidate might be the relative of a nearby Duke or Baron. We lack the knowledge to build new colonies or significantly expand existing ones, so there's a limit on how many people we can support. Having a child is the right <coughs> of every man, woman, and woman. Having a second is a luxury that few can afford. Noble families that grow too large generate widespread resentment. Increasing your house size beyond the limit is dishonorable. As House Goodman improves its income, the limit will grow. To avoid bringing shame on your house, its members must be given permission to have additional children. You can see who already has permission by mousing over the limit indicator on your faction panel. Charged you with avenging Duke Camille Han's crimes. You are obliged to help your vassals punish those who have wronged you. Baroness Ryo Becker has grievances against their former master and wants to sell their score. You have two turns in which to do something about this charge. You will be seen as just, unjust and lose honor. Because Duke Camille Khan is Duke Camille Han is a duke, you could ask your master to avenge these grievances, but you are strong enough to take his this matter into your own hands. To avenge this grievance, you must punish the criminal in some way. There are sets of uh, punishments that you can use on criminals in Eludra or your vassals, but these are not appropriate for a duke. Any dishonorable act that you could commit against the duke would be seen as a punishment for a grievance. Normally, declaring war would be dishonorable. With the grievance, we can declare war with the excuse of avenging their crime. Call Lesath. Launch. Tech. Interesting. A bit more of a metagame kind of thing to this. And there we go. We win. Excellent. We, we win and murderize the shit out of them. Raw 780 conquered. All right. Having conquered, you must now choose who will rule as it as your vassal. You can leave him in place, but they are unlikely to be loyal. You now declare war on other factions and kingdoms. Member of your house can be assigned to pass to provide variety, varied benefits. I'm talking use plan attack. Actions. Plan attack. <coughs> we have a son. Oh, you can't name the kids. Character has traveled to Aludra. There were assignment of House Baron. This is not necessarily to our advantage, but you should keep a close eye on visitors. If you do not like, like the look of Merit Baron, can arrest them. Game's assignments and actions are now going to gradually unlock as we continue them. Feel free to experiment. All right. Mally from the colony and your vassals. Improve infrastructure, assist tax collection, raise tax level. Structure on Mintaka is deteriorated to the point where it cannot sustain human habitation. As a result of collateral damage and neglect, the colony's nobility may lose the ability to sustain basic life support and the colony has to be abandoned. To amass them enough wealth, it is possible to patch up an abandoned colony and bring it back to life using the rebuild a colony assignment. You can manipulate the political hierarchy in following ways. You can depose an existing. You can grant independence to a vassal. You can lead a rebellion against your master. This is normally dishonorable. If you are independent, you can offer a vassalage to an independent duke or archon to become their subject. Following assignments to help you manage your military position, improve defenses, rebuild fleet, shift fleet composition, and hide fleet movement. Apart from doing things that make them happy, you have two other duels to make manage relationship with others. Improve rel relationships assignment increases someone's opinion of you. Hosting a feast in someone's honor will improve their opinion of you and perhaps reputation as well. To reduce the dishonor of declaring war, you need a justification. Claims work nicely, but can be hard to find the right claimant. You could argue and bribe your way into a claim on a colony with the acquire claim assignment. <clears throat> Converts that live and work in colonies are not always content with their lot in life and may rebel. Rebellion risk for plan of rebellion risk. 
Uh, qual unrest assignment will reduce unrest and the chance. Conversely, the create unrest assignment will attempt to destabilize the colony. Also, creates a secret. Uh, your brother is in an intimate relationship with your wife. Fuck you. Or it's an arranged marriage with someone else. Get the fuck out. Dare you. That's the limit. Alright. So this is uh, fully unlocked shit. Alrighty. So that's basically this scenario. So yeah, it definitely works uh, sort of akin to a sort of simplified from the looks of it Crusader Kings in Space. I like that. But there is character creation. Hell yeah. We are the Illuminati. I'm gonna do a little dig. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, it doesn't wrap back around. Fred Pontois, the Illuminati. Alright. Now we can actually start it. Excellent. Fred Pontois, the Illuminati. I have all semen sorts here. Alright, who else do I have here? My husband is him. A fickle and vengeful man of low reputation. Hmm. Ah, poor f a poor husband to have. We must remove him. Oh, goddamn. <sighs> Mother is best at technology. So for now, she will run there. Excellent. Security. Homeland security. I'm not gonna put my husband in charge of that. Um, greedy and rule breaker. But he is kind and friendly, so somehow his diplomacy evens out, in a way. Pandora Pontois. Get my daughter in there. Don't want to put my husband in any point of power. Put my other daughter in there. My other son-in-law. So we are a smaller part of the Whitney Alliance. We must make it so that we are a bigger part of it. I mean, I've been what I expected when we got married, but has been an attentive husband, and I have come to care for him deeply. It's good to have him by my side. Well, I guess I was... I guess the game is trying to tell me I was wrong. Archon Kristen, Christian Whitney is offering Silan Leno. Do you want to ask for something else? All right, so we now own Sileno. How old is she? 64? Oh, your diplomacy is awful. Granddaughter coming to the mother just being like, We need to make you a better people person. You're not doing very well with your reputation, and we don't want your career to be ending with, like, everyone hating your guts. We're facing public pressure to make your husband a council member. I've already put... I've already put a bunch of other people in council positions. I would have to remove them. Daughter is pregnant. All right. Some some rulers for the feast. She is hosting for the marriage between an unknown person and an unknown person. Outrageously drunk during the feast, embarrassing herself. Oop. Her <laughs> archon got super... Her archon getting drunk. Feast in honor of the marriage between two people was largely a success. Despite the fact that she got fucking drunk. I guess, I guess she knew that things would go fine for her. Let's make you a little bit happier. And I said, I wish I could send gift. Doctor, daughter, go talk to the big lady and tell her uh, that uh, there are more important things to be done right now. Arrange a marriage for mom. Hmm. My mom is dead. Shortly after her marriage. Alright, we need a new head of technology. I guess I should appoint my husband. Hmm, I wish I had better people for some of these jobs. The Illuminati is not actually surrounded by people who know what the fuck they're doing. Baroness Hada Hodges wants to support the combat and Minchir. Your house's military will join the fleet. Contributing this. At least one of your vassals can reach Minchir. We'll have the right to call them to arms. Defender. Attacker. Command you.
and put down pretty quickly. House Hodges defeated the fleet of House Jackson of Minchir and Minchir. Excellent. The old and Baroness that's Hodges retained control of Minchir. Baroness Lydia Swanson and Baron Arnie Farley have gotten in an argument over a large bet. You're being asked to settle the matter. The quarrel is murky enough that you can pick either side with a plausible rationale. Who you favor? Cool. Probably like me even more now. Uh, Baron Delphine Myers. Baron Baroness Delphine Myers wants marriage between Nestor Patois. And Mentor Mav Myers. Alright. That was probably a bad idea then. Walking in the central hall, shivering slightly in the cooler night cycle era, I came across Duke Consort... Erna Pontois asleep on a work console. Careful not to wake him, I picked up a blanket from a nearby chair and gently draped it over his shoulders. Aww, it was cute. I think I'm gonna call it here, though. The Illuminati spreads, but... We are not as strong as I wish to be. I do not have the conniving, plotting power of the true Illuminati. My skills are not that great. Maybe it's because I made the Illuminati ruled by a ginger. But... Thank you everyone for watching. I think this game has a lot of potential. There are definitely a uh, good amount of things that could be added to uh, increase the depth of it, though. Take it with a uh, green of early access. I, I would say if you like space and you like the idea of Crusader Kings, but want a little bit of a sci-fi uh, spacey twist, uh, give this give this one a look-see. Links in the description. Take care, nerds. Watch some other videos as well. Bye-bye! <laughs>